Hello everyone, welcome back. So let's talk about this uh, Fresnel thing and I'm gonna create a grid. And this is enough. I'm gonna create a camera. And I'm going to place it like that. And let's create an all. And I want to rotate this camera 90 degree. So that it faces, so that, and then zero here. So the camera goes from facing the uh, facing the surface to looking straight at it. Let's do a flat shaded with wires, okay? And let's create an environment light. And I'm gonna import a texture. And this is how the texture looks like. It's uh, f from CG source. Okay, let's, uh, let's create a shader. And I'm gonna use a principal shader. I'm gonna drag this here. And let's go to the render view, create a mantra node, and set the rendering to physically based. Hit render. And we should see the scene rendering. Let's go to the material tab and you can see we're getting some uh, we're getting the reflection. I'm gonna turn on render light geometry so we can see the environment map in here and let's go back to the material and what I want is I don't want any roughness and I don't want any diffuse so just pure pure reflection and by default the index of reflection is 1.5. I'm going to change this to 1.6. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the map because it's uh, the HDR itself is blurry. So let me pick the correct one. I believe it's this one. Yeah. So I have uh, sorry, I have a blurred version and a version that is not blurred. Set render again. Cool, so that's our reflection. And if we play through, so you see how many, how much reflection we're getting, and we don't have anything else. If we change the camera, we're now facing uh, straight down. And let's go all the way to 24. And at 24, I find 24 where it's facing the, the camera directly. You see the reflection amount is very, very low. We're not getting any reflection. And that's basically what's going to happen with the ocean. If we look at it straight from the top, we're going to get refraction only and that because th we don't have any reflection. And then as we go down, as we are, m as we get more aligned, you see the reflection started to come back. We're st uh, going to start seeing more and more reflection. So this is this is the effect of the Fresnel. Now with the noise, uh, with the with the deformation on the surface, we are going to start breaking this reflection up. And let's go to the principal shader, and let's enable uh, let's enable this, and mm, let's do let's create a, another shader. That's great a noise. 
bump noise. Let's see. Too many options. Okay, let's use the base N. See if this gives us some variation in the normals. Yep, so we're getting a, a noise. Uh, we're basically noising up the bump. Uh, the, we're adding noise to the normals using this node. So let's reduce the bump height to 0 0.01. And you can see we're getting a stretched pattern. So let's increase the frequency. Let's set them to 10, 10, and 10. Okay, it already looks like an ocean with this. And I'm feeling that the, I should see a uh, reflection variation here. So if there is a metallic option, should be fine. Okay, so you can see now that the reflection is breaking up this. Let's set this to zero. And we're getting straight reflection. Let me create a box. And I'm going to stretch it. like that. I'm going to move the camera up a bit and let's scale the grid as well 10 times and I'm going to make two copies of this box and change and move them in. So this one is further away. And this one is in between. And let's give them a red color. I don't need any reflection here and I just need to make them red. And that's just to help see them, that's all. Okay, and let's go to the render view. Let's hit render. And these objects, uh, we're gonna use them as a reference for the for the reflection. That's all. And uh, this, the closest one, is not doesn't get a chance to interact with a lot of bumps. But this one, because of the perspective, is gonna have the reflection is gonna have to go through all of this, all the surface to interact with us. So there, it has a lot more uh, surface to work with. And let's start increasing the reflection, the bump to start with 0 0.0025. Okay, so getting this, this much, and this object is, see, it's not as much as this one. So let's start increasing. And let's increase uh, this. So we're getting, you see now this one is not reaching all the way in, but this one is, and this one is. So the, again, it's because of the way, because this reflection has to go through a lot more, uh, a lot more deformation. And let's increase to 0 0.05. And now we're going to almost lose all of this. What? Yeah, I think so. What happened now is because the bump it does has a limit. We cannot go too crazy with this. And let's go to point zero two. Yeah, but you can see the effect already. So the reflection amount is the same, but because of the surface, because of the breakups, you see the reflection of this geometry is now broken up. Now we're we're not changing the geometry itself here, we're only playing with the normals. If we introduce the deformation on the surface, the effect is going to be a lot more extreme. So that's why in some of the references, even though we see some reflection, the one on the horizon are not, they don't have any, uh, any reflection on them. That's because they are going through a lot more, uh, 
uh, reflection breakups and that's pretty much it let's see so yeah this is this is the idea of uh, the displacement and the bump that we're going to be using and that's how that's why ocean reflection looks the way it is and uh, in our example anywhere where we don't have where the surface is going to be deformed let's create this so that, let me dive inside I'll show let's create a mountain node I'm gonna set this to 150 and let's turn off this so what's gonna happen is so let's say this is our surface we're going to get reflection where we have polygons that are facing the camera but anything that is facing away the camera we're not going to see that it's going to be occluded so all of that is going to affect how uh, much reflection we see and how much refraction we get now if we're looking straight at this ocean like this from the top we're not going to see any reflection we're just going to get refraction and as we go down this surface or this is almost perpendicular is almost aligned to the camera so this one is not going to be very reflective versus this one it's going to reflect a lot so here we're going to see a lot of reflection uh, a, a lot of refraction but in here we're not going to see that so that's why let me go to the reference folder Well, let's see one good example yeah so for example in these areas here we're getting only refraction colors here this is refraction this is refraction anywhere else is basically reflection and that's that's what builds up the 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 color of the ocean and let's start talking about the ocean spectrum now thank you guys for watching